two 10-year-old children have been wounded during a shooting at a Mother's Day parade in New Orleans. It's thought up to three gunmen may have opened fire on the crowd. So details now from Washington and RT's Guyane Chichikan. New Orleans was celebrating Mother's Day with over 300 people participating in a parade. Police say three individuals are believed to be responsible for starting a shootout. Up to four of the wounded, though, are believed to be in critical condition. Another public event, another tragedy. There is a manhunt underway for the three suspects who police believe have managed to escape. One of them is reportedly wounded. In the same way as investigators of the Boston Marathon bombings appealed for crowdsourced photographs. New Orleans police have urged anyone with any photographs of the parade to step forward. So just as in Boston, uh, the police are drawing the public into the manhunt, certainly putting nearby neighborhoods on high alert. Police are going door to door in search for suspects. And of course, everyone is hopeful that they will find them. But at the same time, many are looking at these recent public events, which have gone terribly wrong and thinking whether law enforcement can really provide security at, at outdoor gatherings like this with the Boston bombers, there could have been early warnings that were missed. The perpetrators of this shooting in New Orleans, we don't know who they are, but we do know that in the U.S. there's very little control over in whose hands guns end up. Uh, guns are freely sold at gun shows and online, uh, and all of this makes uh, people nervous about their safety at public events, naturally. Artis Guy Nature Chikan reporting there from Washington. Uh, the FBI spokesperson has dismissed any allegations of terrorism. But Charlie McGrath, the founder of Wide Awake News, says the Bureau shouldn't be quite so quick to jump to conclusions. It's uh, obviously way too early, uh, you know, and I don't know how much uh, faith that I would have in our FBI. You know, and that might shock some people, but they seem to, uh, uh, you know, they had indications of what was going on in Boston. That we know now, years before that, uh, that it occurred and, and information they were getting from other countries. And so faith, faith in the FBI coming out saying it's terror related not terror related uh i you know i, I it's not uh, it's not something i'd hang my hat on